एवरीवन दिस इज अरोही एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल कोड विद अरोही सो इन माय टुडेज वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर गैन नेटवर्क्स व्हाट आर जनरेटिव एडवर्सरियल नेटवर्क्स सो बिफोर नोइंग व्हाट आर गैन नेटवर्क्स लेट्स सी व्हाट ऑल काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशंस वी कैन डेवलप यूजिंग गैन नेटवर्क्स सो वन ऑफ द एग्जांपल इज photos to emojis let's suppose if you want to you have a photos and you want to convert those photos into a emojis that thing if you want to do that task that we can do with the help of gan network so in this example image only you can see this is the human face and this is what we are getting after cartoonify that image right so if you want to perform this kind of task you can do it with the help of um, gan network and after that i hope you all have heard about this face app right so face app also uses gan network for face editing options right so more particularly they are using style gans right or some similar networks to uh, in their face app application so you can see this image over here i have shown few uh, examples and these are the face different face editing options we uh, have applied so this is the real image and this is what we get after applying one face editing option on it this is the image without beard and this is what we get after applying that particular editing option on it and this is like face aging this is the most popular feature of that this face app right this is the your the current image of a person and this is after applying that aging um, option on it right so uh, this kind of application if you want to develop you can use gan networks and face aging i've already told you right so and face de aging also so so you can see this is the current image of the person and this is what person is getting after applying face de aging on it so we can using gan networks for aging and for de aging also after that the very um, one of the very nice feature of uh, gan network is uh, text to image translation so in this image you can see this uh, the text over here this is the text which we are giving to our network right this flower has a yellow petals along with green and yellow stem so this is the text which we are giving to our network and this image is the output of that network so text to image translation this kind of task you can do with the help of gans and after that photo editing photograph editing so let's suppose this is the real image and on this image let's suppose you want to do some changes on this image let's say you want to change in hair color or the style and then even if you want to change the gender of that particular image so that also we can do with the help of gan networks and reconstruct photographs reconstruct photographs simply means you okay just consider this example in this image we have you know we have just deleted this pixel the this particular mask this particular region we have deleted this and from this image also we have deleted some area and from this also and from this also and now we can reconstruct reconstruct simply means we can pick the uh, 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 features Uh, from some other image and we can put it over here so you can see in this image the no over here the nose area over here is different right so in the same way if you see the lip area over here is different so this is what face reconstruction is reconstructing images so this the gan network also helps you know police or the authorities to identify criminals that might have gone through some you know sort of surgeries and to modify their appearances so with the help of gan network we can you know identify uh, such people okay and after that you can see okay so this is one image this is the real face and after applying gan network on it these are the three fake faces we are getting right so guys all those examples which i'm showing over here is i have collected those random examples from internet so my main intent over here is to tell you what kind of applications you can get so using this gan network let's suppose if you will give 100 faces to your network to get training on it then gan network will create fake faces those faces which are not you know non existent 
so you will get such kind of faces using gam networks right so example over here is this is a real image and these are the three faces which gam network developed after the whole frame right this kind of task you can do with the gam network super resolution this feature simply means let's suppose you are having a low resolution images and you want to convert those images into a high resolution images then you can use gan network for that functionality also and let's suppose you have a 2d data and you want to convert it data into a 3d data right you can you know you can develop 3d objects using gan networks okay so guys i'm not going in a deeper way which particular gan network will do this task because there are different kind of gan networks all right so for example let's say when we talk about convolutional neural network there are different kind of convolutional neural network network right lxnet lnet vggnet resnet we have lots of um, convolutional neural networks so in the same way we have different kind of gan networks also so right now collectively i'm telling you what kind of applications we can perform using gans in my next videos i'll tell you specifically which gan network you can use for which particular functionality all right so uh, let's go back to this uh, ppt again so you can develop 3d objects let's say you have a data set which data set is 2d data set let's say so you can convert that data with the into a 3d and 3d object uh, 3d data uh, using gan network and after that translating images so over here you can say let's suppose you are having images satellite images and you want to convert those satellite images into a google map you can do that with the help of gans and let's say uh, say you have images lots of images which you have took in a daylight now you want to convert those images into a night night version so you can do that with the help of gans and let's suppose you have black and white images and you want to convert those images into a color images that again you can do with the help of gans and you can change sketches into a colored photographs using gans so these kind of things we can do with the help of gan networks again this is one more example over here you can see what we are doing is we are deraining this is the image with rain we are deraining this image and this is the output you will get after applying that deraining um, deraining and again this is the image with rain and this is the output you get you can do this kind of functionality with gans and let's say you have this image and there is one gan network pix to pix gan on this input you can get this kind of output okay and yes um, this example i took from this particular website actually rosebud.ai you can visit their site and you can see more about it so what we are doing over here is these are these were the images now these images were converted into a you know we uh, they performed animation on it and now these images become you know live so these kind of applications you can perform using gan networks you all explain you what are gan networks so basically gans are generative models so generative model simply means means they generate new instances right so how i'll uh, i'll show you that how so basically before moving to generative models let me tell you like there are two type of models one are generative models and the other ones are discriminative models so discriminative models are models like in supervised learning let's suppose let me give you one example let's suppose you want to know whether the person is diabetic or not on the basis of uh, some set of features like glucose blood pressure insulin on the basis of these three features you want to uh, you uh, you want to tell whether the you your task is to predict whether the person is diabetic or not so we have given input features and we have a label whether the person is diabetic or not, not diabetic so this is a classification model so this classification model is a type of discriminative model okay so um, i hope you are clear about discriminative model now the other one is generative model generative model simply means to generate new instances okay so uh, now if we talk about gan network so gan network have two different module one is generator and other one is discriminator right so gan have two parts generator and discriminator the task of generator is to produce fake data okay 
and the task of discriminator is to uh, is to identify whether the data which discriminator is getting whether that is a fake data or a real data let me explain you with the picture and with the more detailed form so what i have told you gan contain gan have two parts one is generator other one is discriminator right so we will start our task from here so this is a initially when we start training our gen, um, gan network initially we will have some random noise and this random noise we will give to generator now the task of generator is to uh, you know create fake data right so generator will create some fake sample right from this random noise generator will uh, generate some uh, fake data that sample we have over here now that fake sample will go to discriminator and we are giving one more input to discriminator one is fake data which is generated by generator and other is real data a real training data okay so we are giving our real training data and the fake data to the discriminator now the task over here is task of discriminator is to classify whether the sample which is coming to this discriminator whether that sample is a fake sample or that sample belongs to the uh, a real training data okay and after that we will calculate the generator loss and the discriminator loss right so basically what we are doing is giving random noise to generator generator will de uh, develop a fake image that fake image and the real image will go to discriminator discriminator will try to find out with which uh, data sample is a fake sample and which data sample is a real sample and on the basis of which we are calculating generator loss and we are calculating the loss function for discriminator okay so now let's discuss this in more detail so over here let's see from here okay so yeah here so discriminator so in my previous video this is what i've shown you now i'm discussing about discriminator only just see discriminator is getting two datas one is fake data one is real data and discriminator is basically a classifier right it will tell whether the image is real or fake okay this is the task of discriminator real or fake to classify whether the image is a real or a fake okay so and uh, this discriminator and generator both are neural networks i'll show you practically in my next video how to write code for discriminator and how to write code for uh, generator but right now just understand that discriminator and generator are two uh, neural networks okay so and the discriminator act as a classifier and it will classify whether the image is a real image or a uh, fake image and we are calculating then loss function okay now let's say this is the generated data right this is the sample which discriminator is getting at initial stage see when we whenever we will uh, uh, whenever training begins in the very initial epoch what will happen i'm telling you that will be a random you know in the very first epoch you can see over here in the very first epoch we are which data we are giving to our network to our generator this random noise right in a initial epoch so what will happen generator will easily know right this is the real data suppose this is the real data means our training data sample from our training data and this is the uh, generated data the fake sample which we got after applying generator on it right so over here discriminator can easily tell this is a fake data and this is a real data okay because over here uh, this is a very initial epoch right so a discriminator can easily tell like this is a fake data and this is a real data and after one epoch we will update the weights the same way as we update weights in deep learning other neural networks in the same way we will update the weight and we'll use back propagation for that okay now this is the output of first epoch let's say after that let's say this is the output we get after 20 epochs after running our model for 20 epochs this is what our generator 
is giving this is the fake data which we get from generator and this is the real data now again discriminator can easily tell that this is a fake data and this is a real data and after that we'll again update the weight and we'll again train our model right next epoch so let's say after 50 or 60 uh, epochs this is the output this is the fake face which generator is giving right this is the fake data generated by a generator and this is the real data now over here discriminator is classifying this is a real and this obviously as a real so uh, are you getting my point what i'm trying to say okay let's see this picture this at initial epoch we gave this image and after running few epochs this is the image which generator uh, generates and this is a real uh, image so this is a fake face created by generator and this is the real face from our data set both the faces are going to discriminator and the task of discriminator is to tell if this face is a fake so discriminator should tell this 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 face is a fake and for real face discriminator should tell this is a real face but now discriminator will get fooled by generator because this generated image is you know exactly a face like the above face but obviously with some changes but this is because this is a fake face we have generated but now discriminator will get fooled by generator right so let's understand this let me uh, tell you what this uh, what is that uh, what is the main motive of generator and what is the main motive of discriminator with this example just think that this generator is a, a team of counterfeiters okay so their task is to generate fake money and the task of discriminator discriminators let's say discriminator is a team of cop they are police people right and the task of police people the task of discriminator is to uh, you know find out whether this is a fake money or a real money right now these counterfeiters will you know work hard try hard to make this fake sample fake money uh, like that so that the team of cops that this discriminator should not be able to recognize whether this is a fake sample a fake money or a real money right means this discriminator and this generator both will work hard but motive of generator is why um, this generator is working hard the generator is working hard uh, th these counterfeiters are working hard to make the fake sample more likely to the real uh, money and the task of discriminator is to find out that this is a fake sample right so both are working for different motive they are working like uh, they are working hard to make this money uh, fake money make as more real and they are working hard to find out so that generator can't fool them out okay so this is how um, this GAN network work so and i have told you like after every epoch discriminator and generator both will update the weights using bath propagation and then they will work for the next epochs okay so in conclusion see what we have studied what we have learned is in GAN network we have two main module one is generator and one is discriminator generator will generate the fake sample discriminator will try to find out whether the sample which uh, discriminator is getting whether um, discriminator act as a classifier and it tries to find out whether that sample is a fake sample or a real sample and we will um, update the weight for after every epoch generator is getting training to so that uh, generator we are uh, why we are training generator generator is getting training to generate fake samples which looks more similar or exactly similar to the real samples and discriminator is getting training to classify fake samples with more accuracy and real samples with more accuracy so this is how it will work so now in my next class 
I'll show you the practical implementation of GAN network. I'll show you how to write a code for uh, generator, how to write a code for discriminator, and how to run GAN network on MNIST dataset first of all. And then using GAN network, I'll show you how to we will use a dataset of faces and we'll try to generate fake faces from it. Right. So guys, I hope you like the video. And guys, if you like my video, then please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching. Right. So today I'll show you the different loss functions for generator and discriminator. Right. So we initially started with this picture. Right. So this is the random noise for when we want to train our algorithm and in very initial epoch, this will be the random noise. And from this, this random noise will go to generator. Generator will, um, you know, uh, uh, generate a fake image. So let's say in the very uh, first epoch, when we give this random noise to generator, generator generated this image means this this much. This white area simply means uh, this is um, a blank area, right? So in the very after first epoch, this is the fake image which generator generated. Now, obviously, when you will give this image to discriminator and this is a real sample over here, discriminator can tell very easily that this is a fake image, right? So uh, after that, when you uh, after that discriminator, discriminator will tell us the classification error. Now, just assume this X is a real data means training data point this x hat is uh because i'm going to explain you the formula so i'm just telling you the x stands for the real data x hat simply means the fake data which we will get after from this generator z is the random uh, noise okay and okay so this is the first epoch and after that it will uh, class it will give us classification error and in second epoch see first epoch this this is the fake image and in second epoch this is the fake image generated by generator now over here also discriminator can will give us the classification error and on the basis of that classification error we will uh, update the weight of discriminator and we will update the weight of generator using back propagation okay so this now after few epochs so this is the image fake image generated by the generator again after that we will update the weights of discriminator and update the weight of generator using back propagation okay and after let's say after 60 or 70 epochs this is the fake data generated by the generator and this is the real data and again we are calculating the um, classification error and updating the weights okay now see classification after calculating this classification error okay wait after calculating this classification error what we are doing is we are updating the weight of discriminator and we are also updating the weight of generator now let me show you after classification we are using back propagation to update the weights of generator and what is the objective of this generator the objective of generator is to maximize the discriminator classification error maximize what to maximize the discriminator classification its task is to maximize the classification error of discriminator and the objective of discriminator is to minimize the classification error means discriminator task is to minimize this classification error generator task is to maximize the classification error now what i'm trying to say over here is see generator is creating the fake data and generator wants to fool the genera uh, generator wants to fool the discriminator by uh, by you know saying like okay no this is not a fake data this is a real data so what that means is generator wants to give fake data to discriminator and the objective of generator is to make that sample uh, as much as real it can so that discriminator was not able to classify uh, so that discriminator should classify it as a real sample means we are maximizing the discriminator loss 
and the task of discriminator is to find out that the the image which is coming from generator that uh, that image is a fake image this is the objective of discriminator so how we are how we are updating the weight for generator we are updating the weight of generator in order to maximize the discriminator classification error and we are updating the weight of uh, discriminator in order to minimize this classification error so i hope you understand what we are doing over here means the classic uh, means the loss function of generator the loss function of generator uh, what is the uh, okay leave it just understand that generator will try to maximize this classification error and discriminator will try to minimize this classification error okay so now let's go to the function so the, there are lots of uh, other loss functions also but in my today's class i'm going to discuss min max loss function and this is that function looks like okay okay so let's see over here so this is the min max loss function so basically this loss function derives from the cross entropy loss function so we have used cross entropy loss function in our uh, lots of neural networks right so what we are doing over here is this part this much part this is the discriminator output for real data means whenever discriminator will get real data this is the function for that loss function for that and this is the discriminator output for fake data okay so this is the output for discriminator output for real data and this is the discriminator output for fake data and what this e x is over here e x is simply the expected value over all the data instances and this log d x i have already told you this this d x is basically a discriminators probability that real uh, data real data instances are real okay so this is basically a probability value Uh, and this dx discriminators okay discriminators probability you can see over here also that the real data is a real and ex is there g this g, g simply means generator and z if you remember i have told you this z over here this is a random noise okay so that's what we are writing over here generator g of z simply means a random z is a ra uh, that random noise and this g is a generator and d is a discriminator output for fake data so this random noise is a fake data only na generator will create a fake data on the basis of this so that that's what we are written over here so this is a formula which um we use min max uh, the formula name is min max loss function okay so this is a formula we will use for this particular objective okay now we can write this formula like this also if you want to write it in a python so log sigmoid discriminator loss function discriminator out output for real data and discriminator output for um fake data okay